G'day, let's play some more Wings Remastered where we are going to bomb the train. Nice easy one. A rickety Austrian train tried to escape us out of Lille. The Austro-Hungarian forces were faltering, and with good aim we could nicely accelerate the process. Alright, do you have air defence? like it. My mark, yeah, right. We blew the damn train up. What's a pilot supposed to do when he's flying his best, but his plane is unsafe? I'm not just talking about design flaws, but wood wings that are warped, tail rudders chewed up by lead, and rust eating holes in our engine frames. Missions like today's balloon busting at Ostend would be a lot easier if we could just depend on our machinery. Yeah, and if our fellow pilots had stopped flying into us. The three of us out balloon hunting had formed a pack to keep watch over each other's planes. With anti-aircraft guns blaring from all sides, it wouldn't take much to send our crates spiralling downward. Yes, we learned that, didn't we? Alright, where are they? Jesus. Is there any planes anyway? Let's go nice and high and try and go over the AA. Five for me. I thought we only had one other guy. Promoting us to first lieutenant. I should think so. Okay, we need 40 to get on the leaderboard now. While Farah can't do anything about replacing our rotten airplanes, he's been pretty damn good at improving company morale. Just two more weeks of Ypres and he'll be sending us on some leave for some seaside amusement. Not a bad reward for a few more patrols to the front. Defeat all enemy planes. Visions of glistening beaches pass before me, even with the gruesome view passing below. Three D2s were out to introduce me and my two accomplices to the Grim Reaper. You can try. Left, two on the right. Now let's get high. Somewhere. 
buddy. Your ass. for me I hate to say it but we're losing faith in the brass not Farah or Trenchard but the people at the top making the big decisions whoever they are how can they send us up in these outdated box kites to die don't they care I know all I should be thinking about is our next patrol to Leo but it isn't easy to climb into a cockpit when you don't trust the hardware or the men who sold it to you Four onto, let's assume, seven enemies. The Flying Circus must have been having a bad day. The four of us snuck up on two biplanes as old as our own. Our stunning surprise attack would have impressed the Baron himself. Okay, four and two. Let me handle that. I see yep, two. One there, one next to the uh, spa. Who is closer? They're saying it is closer. Alright. to the lieutenants. Artillery has become an increasingly important factor in the Ypres campaign. Strafing the munitions trains from Lille is one way we can counter the effects by cutting off supplies. Archie is killing more pilots than we ever imagined. Just the thought of it makes me jumpy. I don't mind strafing a train. And we did test whether it's just the engine you have to get. No, it's not. You have to actually get the majority of the cars. Looking through my gun sights, I saw the train's engineer begging for mercy. Remembering the days of chivalry, I let him jump to safety and trained my guns on his cargo.
<laughs> Never been shot down that quickly on a strafing iron. We're only a third of the way through the train. Alright. There goes that mission. One week until we go on leave. Yet I know too well that a week can be a long time in battle. Three minutes of head-to-head -head combat with a DR-1 is an eternity. Our four-man patrol to the front is bent on avoiding the dreaded dry deckers. But there isn't much hope of that nowadays. While land-based artillery ate into the terra firma, we met the core of the refurbished Yaster 11. Now they had two triplanes within their ranks, and both flew elegantly, even under attack. Okay. Where are you boys? Let's see one. Hi. Let's get some altitude. Hey, we got. Wasn't sure if we'd count us doing the last one there. Most of us will be taking a solemn detour after this afternoon's balloon busting expedition to All Noir. We've just learned that the incomparable Georges Guinemer has been shot down. Memorial services will be conducted throughout France. The loss is as tremendous as it is senseless. Miss him deeply. Get him out now. It was hard to concentrate on the balloons ahead with the loss of Guinemer still on my mind. The balloons appeared unprotected, so my partner signaled to take the kill while we had the chance. I think you might be wrong there, buddy. There are four of them.
close than our friend. and shoot down other bloody things. Pigeon. Two. Alright, join the squadron. Going on leave to La Trepol this weekend. Two full weeks away from the Red Baron, and we've certainly earned it. After today's Combray patrol, it's nothing but cool sea breezes and sultry bathing beauty. Never seen anything like the pictures the boys are passing around from their past pleasures on the French playground. I hope my own follies won't be any less memorable. Can't say I'll look forward to returning to Amiens in October, but I'll be back. I've never been one to shirk my responsibility. Not now, not ever. No, not now that we've finally arrived on the front. <laughs> There was to be one more dogfight on the cards before we'd have any rest. The pair of fighters below the three of us were trying their best to interfere with our leave. Oh no, you don't, boys. We've just arrived and we want to go on leave. Lieutenant, please die. I shall send you onto the ground. Take a short break here. When we come back, we shall go on leave. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying it, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.